So tomorrow, elimination game number three for Waipio versus Georgia at 1 in the afternoon Hawaii time. Later in KITV4 Sports, we'll hear more from team manager Brian Yoshii. Says his team's got nothing to lose right now. Now, as you can imagine, you've got an entire community pretty pumped up tonight. KITV4's Shane Enright went to Waipio this evening where the fan club for Hawaii's Little League World Series team is growing day by day. Well, everyone is excited about the YPO players and are cheering them on, especially their youngest fans. On a baseball field in YPO this evening, the Phillies took on the Rattlers. For these seven and eight year olds, the goal is to follow in the YPO boys' footsteps. I like to see them like do like good plays, like amazing plays. Campos deep to right center field and it is gone! Very amazing. I like the way he played today. It's so really amazing to be down by that much. Yeah, it's really amazing to see that happen. Sandra Miyama cheered on her son Drake tonight as he learns to play the game. I always think about it that this is where they start. As mom and dad, you're like, oh, please catch that ball or just, you know, just the basic. Drake says he enjoys watching the YPO players on the television. It is exciting to watch them on TV. I like when they score home runs. One, two, three, go, Phillies! Miyama says the YPO team is an inspiration to the younger players and their parents. They're going to get to that age, and one day we're going to be in the stands with our signs yelling and cheering and stuff like that. Eyes on the ball. The coaches are hoping the younger players see how success comes from hard work. A lot of practice, a lot of work, a lot of dedication from the parents, you know, and, you know, with the, with the right coaching. And, you know, sometimes some of it is luck, you know, you've got to be, you know, blessed with talent. YPO is trying to duplicate what YPO did in 2008 and what Eva Beach did in 2005, and that's win the Little League World Championships. Lara Paula, back to you.